Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing tourist visas and exemption stamps. Thought of making this video after reading a recent comment on one of our prior videos, quoting directly, Hi, I am planning to land in Thailand and get a 30-day tourist visa on arrival, but my return flight will be more than 30 days. Can I just extend my visa in Thailand or do I need to get an extension? before I visit Thailand. Well, point of fact, you can't really get an extension on an exemption. So when you arrive on a 30-day stamp in Thailand, that's not a tourist visa per se. That is an exemption stamp. You're exempt from needing a visa for a 30-day period. You can request an extension of that 30-day stamp here in the kingdom by going to Thai immigration and making that request and getting an additional 30 days for a total of 60 days total lawful status here in the kingdom. Now, the thing to take away from this video and the thing to understand is tourist visas are applied for at embassies or consulates outside of Thailand. While 30-day stamps are conferred based on the nationality of the passport holder when they pass through a Thai immigration checkpoint. So they're two different things. If your flight's not going to leave until after the 30 days that you intend to initially be stamped in on, probably a good idea to seek a tourist visa from an embassy or consulate to ensure that you are covered in terms of lawful status in the kingdom for the time that you will actually be here. Reason for this is an immigration officer may look at that and say, you know, we're not going to stamp you in. You don't, you're not, you know, obviously you could go get an extension, but, you know, I could see them exercising their discretion saying, look, you, you don't have enough time to get to your next your next flight, basically. You don't have enough lawful status. And they could, I'm not saying they would, but I'm saying they could go ahead and say, yeah, we're not going to admit you under those circumstances. So again, uh, it's always a good idea to have a visa in place or to have your status in place, which will cover the entire time you're going to spend here in the Kingdom of Thailand.